key house is filled with amazing keys. Listen for them. They whisper. You hear that? It struck me as like the keys always show up at interesting times, like at fortuitous times. Yes. Without giving Magic has away. a way of... Yeah. <laughs> Presenting itself. <laughs> How do the keys know when to show up? It's a show about a ordin very ordinary family mm -hmm. that live a normal life, and then they come to this house that it has a life of its own, and it has these magic keys. And so, in a way, it's like a character so... I always we like should be asking I mean, Key House. <laughs> I always like magic. I mean, there, there's rules to this world. You know, yes. the keys work in certain ways, mm -hmm. and there's there's, there's Kids can rules see it, that we establish. Can't. But I I do always like. I mean, just going back to like reading these sorts of books when I was a kid is like I always like when there's you arrive at a certain point where it's just magic, yeah. <laughs> or just magic is as magic does. You yeah, know, yeah. and it's and and there's not really an answer. This isn't a game. We don't know what these keys unlock. You woke me up. You woke me up. You have no idea what's coming. If you could use the key that lets you go anywhere, mm -hmm. where okay. would you go at this like very moment? Oh, somewhere like less hot, warm. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say a beach. Oh, really? Although I never go to the beach, but wait. And can I go to the beach because I have to have a door? But there's like there'd be like a lifeguard beach. shack or something. Okay, or like a resort like, that I could. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like that a might be Southeast Asia or like a Hawaii. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Southeast you could do like Asia one of those right like now. little cabins that like sits above the water. You know what yeah. I mean? Those like. Yeah. yeah there Tahiti. you go. Okay, that's a good <laughs> answer. I'll take that. Yeah, I feel like. You want to. In this moment, I don't know why, I feel like being cold. <laughs> okay. Maybe it's like the hot lights. I feel like, like I'm from Toronto, and mm -hmm. it's like negative 30 there right now. Do you want to go to Toronto I feel like right I now? To Toronto. He wants to go home. I want to go home. You know, another one of the keys kind of lets you go inside your own mind. Yes. Um, would you want key. to do that? Would you want to use the head key? I'm good. <laughs> You're good? <laughs> yeah, I'm cool. No, I feel like I know enough, and uh, maybe the stuff that I don't know is a good thing. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I do think there's some level of self-protection that one does. Yeah. Don't you think? I feel, yeah, I feel like I, you know what I mean? Okay. Like, yeah, you're curious, aren't you? I'm curious, but it's not a, it's not a good curiosity. It's like a dark curiosity. I, I, I don't think it, it, it would lead anywhere. Good. good. Okay. So we won't take it. There's some part no, of you I that's can't. like, it would be fun to be like, oh, here's me and my dad, like right. messing around when I was five well, here's or me and my fear. Yeah. But no, then thanks. very quickly on the show, especially it turns into like, Messing around with meddling with your own character. Yeah. Yeah. And and there's ethical questions to that. Yeah, your character in particular kind of uses it to woo a girl. It's not great. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not amazing. But behavior. you could say it's because you're trying to fit in and maybe connect and yeah, it, get well, out I of your isolation. Like all the keys in some way. To, uh, play into this question of uh, they play into like the, where these characters are at emotionally, mm -hmm. and I think for Tyler he's so at that point he's so he's struggling so hard yeah. with just feeling comfortable for one moment with feeling with one good. with one thing going right. right. You know everything mm -hmm. seems to be going wrong. He just if if only one thing could go right, if he could have a good <laughs> conversation with this with this girl at school, maybe he would feel like himself again. Mm -hmm. And I think that's that desperation is where he makes that choice from. There is a crazy evil thing. Who wants these keys? And sometimes when I was watching this, I would be like, is there someone behind me? Do you know Ooh, what I mean? Or like, is, you. Have, like, you know, yeah. you ever get that feeling where you yes, walk around your house suspense. with like a knife or whatever? Yeah. Sure. Um, <laughs> Hide in the closet with the scissors. <laughs> yeah. I've done that before. What are you guys afraid of? Like, what scares you? I mean, when I was a kid, yeah, I, was so, I was so terrified of getting kidnapped that I would have, you know, Sylvester, like the Looney Tunes character? Mm -hmm. yeah. I had like a full size Sylvester like a stuffed animal, yeah. and I would sleep like kind of folded under it, like Ooh. I would tuck him into the bed, so, and put him near the door, mm -hmm. so that if someone was to come in in the dark and take me, they would accidentally take Sylvester instead. <laughs> Smart thinking. For me, it's that there's someone under my bed. Oh, I see. So really? when I, when I, yeah, so when strange. I, you know, put my feet on the ground to whatever, if you know, wake up or just in the middle of the night, that I could be. You know, you know that shot yes. you see in movies where someone's pulled and maybe under a door, or under a bed, and you never see them again. Whatever you think you understand about those keys, you don't. 